First Kings, Chapter 9 And it came to pass, when Solomon had finished the building of the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all Solomon's desire, which he was pleased to do, that the Lord appeared to Solomon the second time, as he had appeared unto him at Gibeon. And the Lord said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I have hallowed this house, which thou hast built to put my name there for ever. And mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. And if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, in integrity of heart and in uprightness, to do according to all that I have commanded thee, and wilt keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel for ever, as I promised to David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments and my statutes which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods and worship them, then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them, and this house which I have hallowed for my name will I cast out of my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. And at this house which is high, every one that passeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss. And they shall say, Why hath the Lord done thus unto this land, and to this house? And they shall answer, Because they forsook the Lord their God, who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and have taken hold upon other gods, and have worshipped them, and served them, therefore hath the Lord brought upon them all this evil. And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, when Solomon had built the two houses, the house of the Lord and the king's house. Now Hiram the king of Tyre had furnished Solomon with cedar trees and fir trees, and with gold according to all his desire. That then king Solomon gave Hiram twenty cities in the land of Galilee. And Hiram came out from Tyre to see the cities which Solomon had given him, and they pleased him not. And he said, what cities are these which thou hast given me, my brother? And he called them the land of Cable unto this day. And Hiram sent to the king six score talents of gold. And this is the reason of the levy which King Solomon raised, for to build the house of the Lord and his own house, and Milo, and the wall of Jerusalem, and Hazor, and Megiddo, and Gezer. For Pharaoh king of Egypt had gone up, and taken Gezer, and burnt it with fire, and slain the Canaanites that dwelt in the city, and given it for a present unto his daughter Solomon's wife. And Solomon built Gezer, and Beth Horon the nether, and Baalath, and Tadmor in the wilderness in the land, and all the cities of store that Solomon had, and cities for his chariots, and cities for his horsemen, and that which Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, and in Lebanon, and in all the land of his dominion. And all the people that were left of the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, which were not of the children of Israel, their children that were left after them in the land, whom the children of Israel also were not able utterly to destroy, upon those did Solomon levy a tribute of bond service unto this day. But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no bondmen, but they were men of war, and his servants, and his princes, and his captains, and rulers of his chariots, and his horsemen. These were the chief of the officers that were over Solomon's work, five hundred and fifty, which bear rule over the people that wrought in the work. But Pharaoh's daughter came up out of the city of David unto her house, which Solomon had built for her. Then did he build Milo. And three times in a year did Solomon offer burnt offerings and peace offerings upon the altar which he built unto the Lord. And he burnt incense upon the altar that was before the Lord. So he finished the house. And King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ezion Geber, which is beside Eloth, on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. And Hiram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servants of Solomon. And they came to Ophir and fetched from thence gold, four hundred and twenty talents, and brought it to King Solomon. 1 Kings chapter 10 and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. 
And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices, and very much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, and his cupbearers, and his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half was not told me, thy wisdom and prosperity exceedeth the fame which I heard. Happy are thy men, happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king, to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices very great store, and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these, which the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. And the navy also of Hiram, that brought gold from Ophir, brought in from Ophir great plenty of almug trees and precious stones. And the king made of the almug trees pillars for the house of the Lord, and for the king's house, harps also, and psalteries for singers. There came no such almug trees, nor were seen unto this day. And King Solomon gave unto the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked, beside that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six talents of gold. Beside that he had of the merchantmen, and of the traffic of the spice merchants, and of all the kings of Arabia, and of the governors of the country. And King Solomon made two hundred targets of beaten gold. Six hundred shekels of gold went to one target. And he made three hundred shields of beaten gold. Three pound of gold went to one shield. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory, and overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round behind, and there were stays on either side on the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the stays. And twelve lions stood there on the one side, and on the other upon the six steps. There was not the like made in any kingdom. And all King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had at sea a navy of Tharshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tharshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. And all the earth sought to Solomon, to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver, and vessels of gold, and garments, and armor, and spices, horses, and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon gathered together chariots and horsemen, and he had a thousand and four hundred chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen, whom he bestowed in the cities for chariots, and with the king at Jerusalem. And the king made silver to be in Jerusalem as stones, and cedars made he to be as the sycamore trees that are in the vale for abundance. And Solomon had horses brought out of Egypt, and linen yarn. The king's merchants received the linen yarn at a price. And a chariot came up and went out of Egypt for six hundred shekels of silver, and an horse for an hundred and fifty. And so for all the kings of the Hittites and for the kings of Syria did they bring them out by their means. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then laid they their hands on them, 
and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he rose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning, and sitting at his chariot read Esaias the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Esaias, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this, He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation, for his life is taken from the earth? And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaks the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, he is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing through he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. Acts 9 Proverbs chapter 12 Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hateth reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord. But a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness. But the root of the righteous shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. But she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are right. But the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not. But the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom. But he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. He that is despised and hath a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men. But the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. 
The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known. But a prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness. But a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword. But the tongue of the wise is health. The lip of truth shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just. But the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge. But the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. But the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop. But a good word maketh it glad. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduceth them. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting. But the substance of a diligent man is precious. In the way of righteousness is life. Psalm 56 To the chief musician upon Jonath Elam Rekokim, Miktam of David, when the Philistines took him in Gath. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O Thou Most High. What time I am afraid, I will trust in Thee. In God I will praise His word. In God I have put my trust, I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle, are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God, I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Psalm 57 To the chief musician, Altaskith, Miktam of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge, until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God Most High, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven, and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, my soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. 
Sila. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Psalm 58 To the chief musician, Altasketh, Miktam of David. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away. Like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Psalm 59 To the chief musician, Altasketh, Miktam of David, when Saul sent, and they watched the house to kill him. Deliver me from mine enemies, O my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgressions, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold. Thou therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah. They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For who, say they, doth hear? But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For God is my defense. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies. Slay them not lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips let them even be taken in their pride, and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath, consume them that they may not be, and let them know that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Selah. And at evening let them return, and let them make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat, and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Psalm 60 To the chief musician upon Shushan Edith, 
Miktam of David, to teach, when he strove with Aram Nehareim and with Aram Zobah, when Joab returned and smote of Edom in the Valley of Salt, twelve thousand. O God, Thou hast cast us off, Thou hast scattered us, Thou hast been displeased. O turn Thyself to us again, Thou hast made the earth to tremble, Thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast showed thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Selah. That thy beloved may be delivered. Save with thy right hand and hear me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, which hadst cast us off? And thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread